Okay, um, I want to go over the variable type of string here. Now first, just to let you know that so far every single variable that we've went over, at least I think that we went over, it was a keyword here. INT was a keyword because it lives us up in blue. Uh, double is a keyword. Boolean. Uh, float. All of them. Every, all the ones that we've known so far were, were a uh, C++ keyword here and we could use them for different things here. Well this time here, we're going to include a different library here. So if we had char here, let's say I had a character here, is equal to, uh, let's say it's a Z. Okay. Oh yeah, and yeah, you got to give it a name here. Let's say we call it um, C H A R. Let's just say character. I'm going to name it character here, and character is equal to Z. Okay, now what we're going to do, we need to include a new library here. This is called the string library. Now, what does this library do? Well, when we include this library, we now have access to use a new variable type called string here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in a string here, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call mine um, smart. And I want to initialize it to um, I am forever smart 88. So what this, what this string does here, it can store, it just stores words here. So this is a variable type here. Now look at this here. Notice that it doesn't light up in blue. String is not a C++ keyword here. It's it's coming, because first of all it doesn't light up in blue, that's their first hint. But uh, it's also coming out of this library here. Okay. And I was going to clarify, I'm making a big deal out of keywords here because right here I don't need any libraries to use any of the C++ standard keywords here. You might have, you might have figured that out already, but you do not need to use any libraries to have access to any of the C++ keywords here. So now that we, we need string here to use this here, now we just use string just as if it were a value here. So we can output uh, smart here, and it'll output the uh, the, the uh, value of string here. Now uh, let me uh, pause this here so we can see it. and just prints my name here and it just stores an entire string of characters here and that's a uh, so that, that's it that's what this does here now what we can do here so let me just uh, make another one here let's say smart is equal to high and I want to make another one too called um, uh, intro just for whatever reason equals a world here. Alright, so what we can do, I mean if I output this here, it's only going to output the the, uh, the word high here. And then, um, that's, that's what this does here. Now what we can do, we can use a mathematical operator here. So let's say we make a new variable here. And I want to call it, uh, let's just say we call it A. Simple A here. And now I want A to equal uh, smart plus intro here. And then once that's done here, I want to output A. It says high world all in one world here. So that's what we can do. We can use operations here. Now what if we wanted to insert a space here? Well, I can also do this. Remember, we can use these quotation marks here to insert <coughs> stuff like this. High world. And then we change the length here. Well, how do we uh, remove a character? What if you want to remove a character? Let's say we want to remove this D off here. Well, guess what? Uh, I'm not going to go over that in this video here, but once we go over classes here, um, I'll uh, I'll uh, show you here, and I'll, I'll post the link somewhere over here, so you can just jump to it. 
But I want to go over classes before we go over that stuff here. But I just want you to know that uh, you can store a new type here. And you can store a string, a whole string of characters, as many as you'd like. And I saw, and uh, the last thing I want you to know is that um, the string is an array here. Now, if you haven't seen the array, hopefully you have. Hopefully you watch all my videos. But the string is just an array of characters here. So we've already seen arrays before. I N T A. Let's say Z or uh, R of a uh, seven. You know, we can say R of three is equal to something here. R of five is equal to like we can set a seven. These are just seven different variables that we can use here, but. Uh, Go ahead and watch the array video if you haven't, if you can't remember what it was or if you've never seen it before. But just to show you here that the um, smart is an array of characters here. So right here, I can say uh, I want to output a smart of let's say uh, it's the uh, let's say it's a one here. What will smart be? It'll just output I. Why is that here? Well, don't forget, like, in, in this line here, smart is equal to a high world. Something like this here. Oops. Now, this is a string of characters here. Now, don't forget that everything is, this is just a comment here. The compiler won't read this. That the first string, because this is the string of characters here, the first letter is, um, is zero here. So this is, uh, Right here, if I say a smart of zero here, that's the first character in the string. And it should output an H. So zero, one, now two is a space here. If we output two, we shouldn't have anything. Because it's a space. Oh boy. Debug assertion failed. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's abort. That wasn't cool, was it? Three, let's output three. Uh, what is going on here? Let's hit retry. All right. Let's hit continue here. Uh, oh boy. Ha. Huh. Okay, let's try this again. I might have to remake this video. Okay. All right. Let me d let me get rid of this stuff here. Ah, that's why. Look at this here. Smart. Look at this here. Alright, uh, I'm not going to post this as the uh, string video, but this is a perfect example of me violating uh, the memory address here I was, that I was talking about in the array video. So um, basically, uh, see this smart here? It only has 0 and 1 here. I tried setting, I tried outputting the variable smart of 3, which does not exist. And uh, my computer just went crazy. So, this is the. I'm going to post this video anyway as a perfect example of, uh, of what happens when you, um, when you, you attempt to output stuff that doesn't exist here. And, uh, I guess the only thing I could have done wrong was try setting smart of 3 equal to something else here. Let's say I tried setting equal to 8 and I run it. I'm not going to run this here. Then I'm changing. There's going to have some major problems here, and it could. I never tried it before, but from what I read, uh, you can give your computer some major headaches, and I would not recommend you do this here. So, you saw what was going on here, and um, that's going to be the wrap on this video here, and that's just going to be. I guess I'll just be the next extension here. So, I'll, I'll try remaking strings again, and. Make sure I use the uh, variable A next time here. Because AF3 does exist because it does equal high world here. Smart only had two here and I was using smart earlier. 
and uh, you saw that my computer went nuts. So, okay, that's it.